Hello everybody, welcome back to Gal vs. Food. Today, we're taking it back to McDonald's because every time I take a little break from McDonald's, I start missing it a lot and then I go back. It's like a, it's like a toxic cycle, a little bit of a drug addiction, but like fast food addiction. But anyways, mainly wanted to do it because of the chicken Big Mac and I just wanted to add it in there. And I really want to eat a chicken Big Mac right now. I kind of feel a little bit guilty because last night I had McDonald's at like 11 p.m. It hasn't even been, what is it, like 12 p.m. right now, so it's... I can't do the math. I think it's been 12 hours, so... But I, I ate light. I just had a junior chicken meal and that was it. Which is crazy, because, you know... You guys, you guys know how I eat. So, same thing. I'm going to be doing a little mukbang, eating quite a bit of food, and filming a TikTok. And no cuts. And no speeding it up. Because... The people have liked that so far. Anyways, I my last few videos have been getting really long, so let, let's just get right into it, all right? So first, we have a lovely quarter pounder. We've got six piece nuggets, one junior chicken, two junior chickens, a chicken snack wrap, a cheeseburger, poutine. Oh God, I hate when people come, come park right next. I get nervous. A chicken Big Mac. An apple pie. And that's it. Now these dudes are stressing me out. Like, can they leave? I just want to eat my food in peace. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And, of course, shamrock shake. Um, I've never had a shamrock shake before. And uh, this is a shamrock Oreo McFlurry. So I was like, I have to get it. And I, I feel like it's going to taste really fucking good. So let's see. Bro, oh my god, that's heavenly. It's like toothpaste and Oreo, but I love toothpaste and I love Oreos. So this is like, absolutely perfect to me. This is probably going to melt, but I want to eat it after because, you know, Give it dessert bites. Oh my god, I can't wait to dip my apple pie in it. I think that's gonna taste really good. There we go. First burger. Look how beautiful she looks, guys. The chicken Big Mac is actually really freaking good. And I think I like it better than the beef Big Mac, but the um, the chicken Big Mac or the, the patties or whatever tastes exactly like how the chicken nuggets taste. So think of it as like a chicken nugget Big Mac. But yeah, really good. All right, first bite. As always, I'm filming it. I realize that people who don't follow me on TikTok are like, what do you keep staring at your phone for? But yeah, I'm filming a TikTok. I'm sorry. So yeah, first bite. It's saucy. It's already falling apart on me. Oh, whatever. I'll get saucy with this one. It's okay. Whoops. I did not swallow that chicken properly. That like went down my throat whole. That was nice. I don't know which way to attack it from. Go this way, I guess. Nah. Nah. It's really messy, but really good. So, like, holy, holy sauce is, is what the problem is.
Alright, last bite. Water for balance. I also got a Diet Coke for backup. Cause I learned my lesson from my last video. And if you guys watch the Arby's Rock Bag, all I had was a medium Diet Coke from Arby's, no water, no nothing, and all that food was dry. I was literally stressed out, dude. I thought I was gonna choke. It was a stressful time, but you know, hey, I'm alive now. I'm here making this video, so. At least I didn't die. All right. Quarter pounder time. Jesus, that's a lot of pickles. I love quarter pounders because like they're one of the big burgers but they're not messy at all. Like you can get such clean bites with them. Watch me say that and get like the dirtiest bite ever. Dakota Pounder also never fails to amaze me with its consistency. How it always tastes the same. Whereas the cheeseburger, for some reason, it always tastes different. Damn, that is a greasy quarter pounder. Look at that. that like, you can see that grease shine, bro. What am I putting in my body, man? Acting like I actually care. <laughs> Should I four bite this? I can four bite it. Easy stuff, right? Dude, I always get the sniffles when I eat. I think, I don't know if it's the Diet Coke or what, but I be getting the major sniffles. All right, cheeseburger, I guess. Go back to the beef and then go back to the chicken. I know this cheeseburger ain't gonna taste very good. I'm very specific with how much of each ingredient I want on my burger. So when they put too much ketchup, too much this, I'm like, this ain't right. Like that's, and this ketchup looks Okay. Get that out of the way. These are the three bites. We'll three bite these.
bite. After today, I'm cleaning my car. Like this is, it's getting out of hand. Okay, it's not that bad. It's just, there's just lots of crumbs everywhere and it, it makes me like mad. Cause I'm living in my own grease. I'm living in my own grease, man. Oh my God. I guess not living cause I don't live in my car. Fun fact, I actually live in my car. That's a sad junior. The sad junior, but I'll make it happy by ending its life right now in its misery by being such a lame junior chicken. Junior chicken! So does that mean a junior chicken is the McChicken's little child? Like, you know how people have kids and they'll name them like Walter Jr. Walter Jr. Everybody loves Walter Jr. But yeah, so the junior chicken is a McChicken's child. That would make the most sense, I, w I would think. Well, that's a good discovery on you, gal. Alright. Three biting these babies. Let's go. That's a good ginger chicken. I am happy with this. That is one dry junior chicken though. I think it's because there's like literally no sauce on it. Not lost in the sauce of this one. Last bite. Okay, um, another junior chicken time. Oh my god, I really am getting the sniffles over here. This junior chicken looks very dry too. But it's okay, we'll get her down. How much bread do you think I've had in my life? Can you imagine if everyone had like a little like, okay, maybe not on your head, but everyone just had like a data collection of every single food you've consumed in, <coughs> in your entire life from the day you were born up until like where you are now to the present. Like it's like, show you different foods as well. It's like, oh, you've, you've consumed 236 burgers since you were born. You know, obviously mine would be 236 burgers in a week, but for the average person, maybe like 236 burgers. I'm like... 10 years or something, you know what I mean? And then it also calculates how many calories you've had 
since you were born as well. Like a total. That would be so awesome. Except my calories would be through the friggin' roof. Yeah, actually, no, I wouldn't want that. That's like invasion of privacy, bro. Everyone's gonna judge me. No, actually, I do want that. That'd be so cool. Anyways, eat your burger. Eat your burger, gal. Second junior chicken. Let's go. Wonder if I'm ever gonna get tired of McDonald's. Who knows? We'll see. I'm gonna give you guys a hack right now. An eating hack. <clears throat> oh my god, it's that close in my throat. An eating hack. Okay. A lot of people ask me how I eat a lot. Honestly, I, I don't know like the full reason. I feel like there's lots of little parts to how I can just eat a lot, but I'm just gonna tell you one tip for your everyday day to life, day, day to day life, okay? So basically, psychologically, if you have food and you're chewing slowly, taking more bite, not, sorry, not taking more bites, but like taking more chews in your mouth, I guess you could say, your brain is gonna like get full faster because it thinks you're eating more. <clears throat> but if you were to take a bite of your food and try to take less chews and just swallow it down, you're and your brain can't keep up with it and it's gonna think you you, you need more food because it like it's going down too fast for it to even process it whereas you're, when you're chewing very slowly it's gonna think you're full faster that one i just i just did a lot of chews but that's because it was dry but yeah that's also the reason i take bigger bites because you know just get it down you don't get full your brain doesn't have time to even think about it but most another reason i take big bites though is because i just i can't eat slow like if i like something i just want to like, get it down my throat like come in i'm not gonna say that sentence because that's not bad but yeah just yeah anyways <laughs> that's one of my tips last bite Freaking Diet Coke's making me sound like a man. I'm like, okay. Okay, what's next? <clears throat> okay, what's next? Oh yeah, it's my least favorite one. Chicken snack crap. That's 80% bread. Okay, I'm gonna put some spicy hab. Oh, I forgot to ask with no ranch. There's, there's a lot of ranch. There's quite a bit of ranch holdings. I heard ranch has anchovies in it. That's why I just, I can't do ranch because I also, I'm gonna take this ranch off. 
Because I also can't do seafood. If y'all know seafood, or no, yeah, I've said it in like my Q&A before, seafood is just not for me. It kind of stresses me out because I don't like it, but yeah. You guys hear that? I think I heard something. Wait, this way? It's actually kind of good with ranch, surprisingly. Maybe I should start getting it with ranch, right? Oopsies. Mm, that's all bread. These goddamn sniffles are getting on my last nerve. Okay, I'm gonna have the nuggets first, but I just wanna show you this poutine. Talk about loading it with cheese curds. Ah, oh, I forgot to ask for like light cheese curds. I remember I said I was gonna do that last time because I just am not a fan of the cheese curds. Like, I can't do it. They're just, I feel like it makes me sick if I eat too much of it, so. I need some sauce. I swear I got some spicy habanero sauce. Did I? Yeah, I did. Uh-oh. Like under all the dirty napkins. Put it right there. All right. Let's see if I have trouble opening the. I literally have trouble opening the sauce every freaking time. It's so annoying. This is like literally my third video. I can. Ah, actually, I think we got it. I think we got it. Almost there. There we go. This time I didn't have to even. <coughs> We're getting better. Okay. I don't even like spicy habanero sauce, but it's okay. Cute nugget, hey? Mm-hmm. 
Last nugget. Uh oh, I have the hiccups. Okay. Houston, we've got a problem because uh, they didn't give me a fork. Yeah, no, there's no fork. Let's see. Sometimes I will keep a little fork in here or something. Oh no, what do I do now, guys? I don't have a fork. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, would you look at that, I've got a spoon, I mean it's not a fork, but it's definitely something that'll help us out here, this is a really, I don't even remember where I got this, it probably looks like some sort of ice cream place, see guys, I always think one step ahead, I literally remember like, saving, um, okay, I'm taking these cheese curds out, Um, saving these for like a day like this, because they seem to like forget this quite a bit, dude. Sorry, guys, I just need to take. Can you see? You know, obviously, I am just. Uh oh, I got that on my car seat. I'm not a fan of cheese curds. Jeez, I can't tell which ones are fries, which ones are cheese. Okay, I think I can. It's okay. I won't, I won't die from eating a few cheese curds. It's good enough. Alright. Let me give this a nice little... Yeah, I see. Play like noodles. Give it a nice little mix. Get all the gravy in there. All of it. Yeah, they are right, mate. Yeah, right on there. Some Australian watching this is gonna be offended for that. Oh, but by the way, if you're an Australian, love, I love Australians, so. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, just that I love Australians. Oh god, my camera's greasy as hell. Of course it is, there's like grease all over my hands and everything. Guys, I think my favorite word is legit grease. I say it all the time. Nah, that does not look appetizing. All right, first bite, keep it healthy. It's good stuff. Where do I, no, maybe right there is good. This is gonna fall off my spoon, watch. Mm -hmm. Only one piece. We're running up the road. We're running up the hill. The valley cool. It's really hard picking this up with a spoon, guys. I'm trying my best here. Try my best. Okay, what? One second, guys. I want to know why I have no time left on this. Oh.
Why do I always do that, bruh? I always accidentally put my in super slow mo. So I have to redo those bites. There's always some sort of technical difficulty that goes on with me. I kind of realize that. You think I can get a clean bite with this? Let's see. Clean it up, honestly. I'm struggling. I really wish they gave me a fork. There we go. Oh my. I don't even think I recorded that. He's running up that road. It's tasting gross. Sorry, starting to taste gross. Oh, I've got a lot of extra time actually. Actually, I'm well, it's okay. Be running up the road. Sorry guys, that's stuck in my head. All right, let's finish this poutine. Okay, apple pie time. You know what the hell I'm about to do. You know what the heck this gal is about to do. It's melted, but I think we can make it work. Mm. All right. I'll record this TikTok.
Oh, 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 it's dripping everywhere. It's really bad, but it's dripping everywhere. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. I almost completely knocked over that on my center console. Oh my god. There's drip drip everywhere. Looky here, guys. I just burped. All right, all done. All right, that ends today's video. Um, as always, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed me eating like a sloppy mess and stuff in my face. As always, don't forget to drink water for balance. Don't forget to move your body. Move your body, girl. Make the fellas go. You know that song? Yeah. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up so that I can keep making videos and think that people actually want to watch me and not that I'm making videos for myself and talking to my own camera and talking to myself. <laughs> if you want to continue leaving suggestions down in the comments below, I will read them and I will reply to them and I will thank you for them. One question for someone who knows about the YouTube world and everything. Do you think I need to have an intro and an outro? Do you think I need to change my YouTube channel, like my head, uh, head, head, headline, head border or whatever it's called? Do I need to like do all that or like, or does it really matter or should I just chill out for now? But yeah, let me know if you know anything about the YouTube world. But anyways, see you next week for another video. Bye-bye.